guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel this is me alicia if this is your first time here and if not welcome back all right i had a completely different video plan for this sunday but i've gotten so many questions on my locks and i'm actually getting ready to take them down now so let's do a quick round robin well it's not have to be that much your jewelry is from where it always is from living fearless collection and then this is a cute black vase from forever 21 i will make sure to have it linked for you below so now that that's over let's get into it like i said i have had so many questions on these locks so i figured i would do a quick update on the locks that I have in my hair kind of go through the details um, of the hair and all that kind of stuff don't worry next Sunday's video is going to be an updated lock install because I'm recording this on the Thursday I'm taking them down later tonight I am putting them back up on Monday so that they're nice and fresh for our vacation so next Sunday's video is going to be about the install you'll be able to see how I treat my natural hair how I exactly loop the lock around my natural hair how I install the crochet hair so I'm gonna try to answer those questions in this video but if you want a more in-depth tutorial that will be on next Sunday's video so let's just get into it okay so a little backstory if you don't follow me on Instagram I actually had an appointment to get my locks done and natural disaster I ended up coming home and was like you know what I'm just gonna go out and find some braiding hair or just do it myself because we were going for a beach trip and I didn't want to have to worry about it. I checked my hair stash and realized that I had all of the items that I needed to do my locks and so that's what I did. So I used the Bobby Boss Locks and I will pop up the product picture here. I used three packs of those and I got them in the 18 inch in color 1B. So that is the details for the actual hair locks that I use. The ones that I'm going to be using coming up this week is going to be the Bobby Boss, but then Free Tress has, and I'll pop up these, they have the locks that have the swirl on the end. I haven't seen Bobby Boss have those. I have seen them with Free Tress, so I'm going to get a pack of those um, and kind of have them throughout the hair so you see the the curly hair on the ends of the locks and not just when I crochet it in the actual lock myself so I'm gonna be using those for the first time I will report back I have used free tress hair before back when I was doing crochet braids on team time ago and all the hair that I use from free tress I love I have never used their locks before but I have no doubt that they will be able to work nicely so that's what I'm going to use a combination coming up the curly hair is synthetic I did not use human hair for this style mainly because I didn't have it and I was not gonna go to the hair supply store to get it I use the free tress go go curl hair I'll pop it up here and because it is synthetic I knew that it was going to at some point tangle and I knew that I was going to have to over time cut some of the knots out so I used an entire pack um, so I did use that and it was in the color 1B as well I do have a pair of a pack of human hair that I might use on the install on this install coming up but I also have my synthetic hair human hair can be very fickle to work with when I'm trying to crochet it in the way that I crochet it in um, and so I I do have my synthetic hair on standby just in case so that is the details for the hair all right so now that we got the hair out of the way um, I have had this hairstyle in for exactly 26 days so in two days it'll be four weeks this hair I will have to say it's a 10 out of 10 as I said before there's not a lot of free chest hair that I've got that I didn't like and every single time that I have done these locks if you go way back when I'll even put an old tutorial um, in the description box below these are the exact same locks that I use I think I use a different uh, different length so I've used a 24 before I want to say I've even used a 16 but for me 18 is that nice sweet spot so overall if you don't want to go through any more of this video and you want hey should I get them absolutely 10 out of 10 I'm gonna put them right back in my head in less than a week so I did go on Instagram and ask if you guys have any questions so we're just gonna go through all the questions and I think that will pretty much wrap up this update so we're gonna go here um, I am going to wait a second where's the first one um, did any locks slip out no I didn't have any problem with the lock slipping out like I said I did do the crochet method so I there is no cornrows each hair is individually so I individually braided my hair and then wrapped 
the lock around the hair. It sounds like algebra or physics, but the video next Sunday is going to go into more detail. But yeah, none of, I didn't have to worry about any of my locks slipping out. What, how did I maintain, what leave-in conditioner did I use or oils? I use four things on my hair and I have them sitting over here. The first thing that I use since my hair has been up, I am someone that deals with a lot of danger. I also have eczema patches on my scalp. So it's just, I'm naturally going to have an itchy scalp. So I used to, I do the Whey Dry Shampoo. I put this in my hair about once every three workouts. So when I'm sweaty, so probably about once a week or twice every week and a half, if that makes sense. So after every three workouts or when my hair got extremely sweaty is when I would put this in my hair. I used it about every other day back when we were down on the beach and we'll get into how it works on vacation. But basically after every three sweats or when I find myself reaching for my scalp to itch it is when I used this. And this is one of the few ones where I didn't have to worry about it leaving a dry or like a white powdery. Cause you know, some of those leave-in condition or some of the dry shampoos, it's giving it's not for us. And y'all know what I mean. As far as uh, leave-in conditioner, I still have to keep my scalp moisturized and this is where I need you guys to understand that a protective style you still need to protect and moisturize your hair. A lot of you guys have just recently started for the fashion but I started this channel as a natural hair influencer and I wore crochet braids for a year and a half straight to grow my hair out and because I was treating and moisturizing and protecting my natural hair it was growing like crazy. So I use this leave-in conditioner every single day. It's not a lot but I still like to you know spray 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 just to make sure that one, it kind of gets the synthetic a little less detangled, um, but then most of all, it really helps moisturize my hair. So I focus this more on the scalp to get my hair moisturized, especially after I've used a dry shampoo. And then it, this, I use this as a combination to kind of detangle the uh, locks. So I use this to detangle the locks in the hair as well as a mousse a mousse is great with getting the detangles out and then like i said of course guys it's synthetic hair so if you occasionally have to clip a knot cut a knot out you have a lot of of the curly hair in there especially i would advise to use the whole pack if i had a second pack i probably would have because i love being able to see the curly structure in there i probably need to get a second pack for monday because i really like the curly effect to the locks. So I use this Locking Coconut Curl. This is by OGX. This is a decadent, dreamy mousse. Use this, and I use this every day. It is It is synthetic hair. You have synthetic locks, you have synthetic braiding hair. So you're going to need to do some kind of manipulation to the hair every day to avoid it from getting too nappy or too tangled. Um, didn't take that long and I would gladly spend, I would say maybe five minutes a day doing my hair rather than a lot longer when my natural hair was out. So these were the combinations that I used on my hair or on the locks to kind of get them detangled. And then of course, if you see something that you just can't detangle, just cut it out. It's not your hair. And then the last thing that I used for my scalp, once again, we are protective styling. We want to be able to grow and moisturize. I'm gonna put my phone on silent. Grow and moisturize our hair while it's in the style. I did this Grow Days Daily Shine and Repair Spray. And this is also something that I did daily. Once again, focusing really hard on the roots, but then also because my natural hair, yes, it's in a lock, but it's not like it's that protected. I still was putting it a little bit on the locks. And as you can tell, I think I got this, I've had this for a minute, but I've used it more the last 26 days than I would say ever. So I got this from Walmart. I'm over halfway through, so I'll probably pick up another bottle just to be able to have it. I just really love her products. You guys know I use her um, like leave-in conditioner and gel for my wash and goes and so I have been loving this um, grow gel. And that's the four things that I use on my hair. Like I said the first the last three products I use every day. The dry shampoo I will use every three workouts or every three times that I have like really sweaty scalp. Okay, next question, what type of hair did you buy? I already 
got that. What kind of hair did you use? We did that. And then what was the maintenance like? I showed you guys the maintenance. Other than that, the only thing that I did, as I normally do with all my natural hair, I sleep on a satin pillowcase. I didn't, I didn't, I'm being honest, I didn't have a bonnet big enough to put all this in and I wasn't about to go out and buy a bonnet to put it in when I had plenty of satin pillowcases. So I slept, we have satin sh pillowcases on our bed. When we got ready to travel, I travel with, I have a white travel pillowcase that I just travel with me because as a natural hair, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that the place you're going to has satin sheets. I'm gonna go with maybe 100%. <laughs> So I always have a satin travel pillowcase that I travel with me and just put on the pillow that I'm using. That way I don't have to worry about putting a bonnet on or finding a headscarf big enough to be able to cover up all these locks. So that's the maintenance besides that that I used. When I am working out, I just put it up or I will put a head wrap on. We'll get to that in a second. It didn't have any issues. It's a very low maintenance. If you do your five minute daily hair maintenance, detangling, moisturizing, you shouldn't have any other issues with this. This is definitely on a scale of one to 10 with 10 being high maintenance. I would consider this a two or a three if I'm being honest with you. Um, did you intertwine the hair with each other before putting it in? I have no idea what that means. Did I intertwine the locks with the curly hair? If that's the question, no. I put the lock in and then, I don't know if you guys can tell up here, so you see how I put the lock in and then right here you have the curly piece of hair. And so what I did is I did all of my locks and then I went back and crocheted in the curly pieces. I either did them in the roots or I did them on the actual lock themselves. I don't know if I have one. Most of these are on the roots. Yeah, most of these are on the roots. I would either do that or I would put it on the very end of the lock to kind of get the curly. So you see, to kind of get the curly piece. So I would lock it down here and that way you would get the curly piece. I did it after the fact because I didn't know how much curly hair I wanted. And I also focused a lot of the curly hair on the front of my head rather than in the back. So there still is some pieces in the back, but I really wanted this to be full. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, I did the top first. So I braided my hair, I braided the hair all at once. But then I went in and put in the locks on the front part of my hair before I did the back, just in case I got tired. So it might be back here. Back here, you might see a little bit of the braid in case I didn't go all the way around. I wanted the front to be cuter than the back. And that's normally how I do protective styles. Even when I would crochet my hair, I would crochet the front and then I would crochet the back because you start the back first and then you get tired and then you don't put that much effort in the front when people see the front. So do front to back rather than back to front. Um, okay, let's see, where did you purchase your locks from? I purchased my locks from the beauty supply store but the ones that I just bought that I'm putting in on Monday, I got them from Amazon because I was able to get a four pack. It was just easier. So I'll link them below and then the headband. So the headband that the girls are talking about, they're these. Um, I wear them even when I have natural hair, what I love about it is that it's a head wrap, but it is super long. And so this is what the girls mean. Um, oof, maybe I should just pop up a video. So when I am getting ready to work out and I don't feel like putting it up, or even when I just don't want my hair in the face, I can put it like this, right? And just have it off of my face but I still kind of want it down or because this is so long I can put it all the way down here and so when I'm working out and I don't want it to be up for example on arm day and I know I'm going to be on a bench like a flat bench I can't put my hair in a ponytail because it's going to be in the way when I'm laying flat and I don't really wear it in the bun when I'm working out so I will wear this and that way it's off of my face and sometimes I'll even bring it the head wrap up like this to kind of get it completely. And I'm able to do my workouts, all the things, and when I'm just lounging around the house and I don't want all of it in this area, I use these. They are from Walmart, they have plenty of different colors. I wanna say I probably have every color. Red, I don't have red. Leopard, gray, black, green, brown. It's a two pack for 388, 48. They're out of quite a few online. I will link um, link them online, but I would say check your local store because 
they're so good like i said it's it's the best four dollars and it's a two pack so they're technically two dollars did the synthetic loose pieces tangle and did you get the hairstyle wet at all i think the first one goes without saying synthetic hair is going to tangle especially when you're mentioning when you're mixing synthetic hair with synthetic locks it is going to tangle that is just the nature of the hair if you don't want it to tangle you can get natural hair but a natural hair bundle a good a good natural hair bundle is going to cost you at least 40 to 50 dollars if not 60. they have some on amazon they're like 10 and 20 dollars. i wouldn't trust that because that human hair a bundle of human hair for 20 dollars. i wouldn't trust that you're looking in the 60 dollar range because this is for me a low maintenance style and i'm okay with it being synthetic i don't really want to spend that much money like this is an under 50 dollar hairstyle if we're talking about natural hair now you're looking at about a hundred dollars so Yes, the synthetic pieces got tangled, but I just showed you guys how I dealt with it. And did you get this hairstyle wet at all? Yes. When we went to the beach, I got in the ocean once and got it wet. So that's ocean water. And then when we, we went to the pool like four or five times and I got it wet every single time, every single time. And what I did with those is that as soon as I came out of the pool and it dried, I did the maintenance again with the leave-in conditioner, the mousse, and then the oil. So even though I probably did it that morning, when I let the hair dry, I did it again just to make sure that the tangles aren't sitting with each other overnight. So like I, those are answers for those questions. Did you use edge control gel? If yes, which one? I'm not really an edge control girl. Like I said, I like for the locks to feel and look worn in. I did do edge control a couple of times and I used the curl days edge control only because it also has growing properties in it. I will link it below. You can find it at Walmart and then they also have the brush to match with it. Are they heavy? No. These locks are not heavy at all, only because they're essentially hollow. The lock has its lock within its hollow and that's why you're able to wrap your hair into the lock because it is, it's very much hollow. Um, so yeah, I don't think they're heavy at all. If I would say if they're any heavy, it's when I put it up here and put it in a bun, but even still then, it's nowhere near the braids only because you have a lot of hair when you're doing even if you're doing knotless box braids that still is a lot of hair so i would say on a scale of one to ten with ten being heaviest these are like a one okay maybe not a one i feel like a one is your hair so two or three definitely not heavy at all how many packs did you use and how long does it take you to install i used three uh well i opened three i don't know if i used all of the third pack of the locks I can't remember and then I use like I said an entire pack of the synthetic hair now how long did it take I didn't I didn't sit down from start to finish and I'm probably not going to do the same thing here so what I'll have to do when I do the video is I will time myself so I will um, sit down and I will part and braid my hair so I'll do half the braid and then just leave it loose I'll do that and then I'll you know do life for the rest of the day and then i'll come back and then i'll put the locks in so for instance this sunday i will probably do the parts do the braids put it in a cute bun go do a little bit of life on monday and then we'll come back and actually do the locks and the curl so i will make sure to put a stopwatch or notice a timer or something it's not long i would say the longest part is braiding and party and braiding your hair to me, that's the longest because the actual wrap around, that doesn't take any time at all. It could be because this is probably my seventh time doing them, so I've gotten a habit of being able to do them, but it's definitely not an eight to 10 hour style. I would give it more so four to six hours, but the majority of the time, like I said, is you parting and braiding your hair. Yeah, so I think that was it as far as everyone's question. Like I said, I absolutely love these locks. I got them quite a few and I don't know why I stopped getting them and I will have to say maybe that was a blessing in disguise that she wasn't able to finish my hair and I had to come home and take down what she did and do it myself because now I'm like I'm just I'm gonna be in my lock area especially I feel like for the fall and winter this is such a fall and winter hairstyle I love it so you guys probably won't be seeing a lot of my natural hair coming up in the next couple of months 
because it's just easy so um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this really quick or maybe it's not really quick because maybe I have been talking sorry mom I know you don't like winded videos um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this I will make sure to link the locks I will link the free chest curly hair I will link all the products that I use I will link the head wrap if there's something else that you guys want linked but I haven't said I was gonna link it make sure you leave me a comment now we I will add it to the description box and like I said next Sunday's video will be all about me physically doing the tutorial or the updated tutorial on these locks because that has been a, a question especially now that you know they're here and they're not going anywhere so if you have made it to this far in the video, you have not subscribed. Subscribe. I don't know why I get on here thinking that I can I can sing and I can barely hold two notes together. I am subscribe. Subscribe. Sorry guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Also click the notification bell while you're here. While you're here, guys, and you like the video, don't forget to tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend. And I'm gonna catch you guys Thursday, 7 o'clock. Later.